Hi, I'm Carolyn, and today we're going to look at how to use a demolition hammer. Demolition hammers are normally associated with heavy work, like breaking up concrete or brickwork. But demolition hammers come in a range of sizes, and some of them can do pretty delicate work. In fact, today our Kennards Hire expert, Cameron, will be demonstrating how to remove wall tiles, and this technique can be used for stucco, plaster, and render. For this job, we'll need a lightweight hammer that's designed to be used in a horizontal position. This hammer here weighs seven kilos, and it's got two handles for a better grip. We also have cordless hammer options. If there are taps or any other fixtures covering the tiles, you'll need to remove these before you begin. There'll also be a fair bit of dust, plaster, and tile fragments, so cover up all surfaces with a drop cloth. Make sure that you're protected by using the right safety gear. This means using ear protection, safety glasses, gloves, a dust mask, and steel-capped boots. You should also wear clothing that protects your arms and legs from sharp pieces of tiles. You can also use an air cleaner for dusty environments. Handy tip, if you have a beard, a dust mask won't be adequate. You will need a full face respirator. For removing tiles, use a fairly broad attachment like this wide chisel, and it just snaps into the hammer like this. Before you begin, remember to turn off the electricity to the power outlets in the room where you're planning to remove the tiles, as well as at the breaker. This is just in case you hit one of the power outlets with the hammer. If it were live, then it could give you an electric shock. To power the hammer, run an extension cord from another part of the house. To start with, place the chisel into a gap where the tiles meet before you switch on the hammer. Angle the chisel so you're not aiming it directly into the wall. Hold the hammer with both grips and ease under the tile. You'll find it quite easy once you get the hang of it. Use the hammer to remove hardened adhesive from the wall. Again, keep the chisel on an angle and be careful not to gouge into the wall. Continue in a methodical fashion until you remove all the tiles and underlying adhesive. Handy tip, if you need to break up concrete slabs, driveways or hard clay, then this heavy duty hammer is recommended. It still runs off the mains, but it has more power. For breaking up slabs or brickwork, you need a more pointed attachment like this one. To install the attachment, just open the lock chuck, slide the attachment in and close the lock chuck. If you find asbestos beneath the tiles or in a wall cavity, stop work immediately. Get in touch with your local council to find out how to remove asbestos safely. If you find electrical wiring, call an electrician to advise on how to continue. Using a demolition hammer gets the job done easily. Remember, the team at your local Kennards Hire branch will be happy to help you with any questions that you have about using a demolition hammer for your project. See you next time. While operating machinery, we recommend using the necessary safety gear, all of which each Kennards Hire branch has in stock. Follow all safety instructions Kennards Hire staff give you and always refer to the operator's instructions before operating. Instructions are available on the Kennards website or simply ask at your local branch. Kennards make your job easy.